This is part two of two. Click here to catch up before moving on to this episode. Zenkai wa watashi ni sebutu o tsungo pui desu. Kitoma wa dakima watu desu. Sai saujin akaoshi ni fatu wa biti. Tonde kuru kare no kago nuki aiko no dada daki. Ikutsuuru, unaraduru, uru, ka uru. Oh, fuck it. So, so are you guys gonna fight or what? Just a reminder. Hey, uh, you remember the warning I posted at the beginning of every fucking video? You know the one that says it's my opinion? Yeah, guess what? This is my opinion. I never said I'm some kind of anime expert, these are just my thoughts from what I've seen. I never said you have to agree with them, in fact I encourage thoughtful conversation that covers both sides of the argument. I have no intention of trying to make you dislike things you do like, that's not what any of this is all about. Perhaps if I make a factual error, please feel free to call me out on it, but don't be a dickhole and get angry purely because the topic is based around something you might like. If you can see possible flaws and accept why some people might not like something you do, and still walk away liking it anyway? Well, more power to you. There are plenty of things I like, despite what others might think. Who cares? They're the only ones missing out. Fuck them. Anyway, on with whatever the hell this is. Lazy animation tricks. Animation is damn hard work that takes a crazy amount of time and talent, hence why I don't do it, and anime certainly does have its fair share of absolutely gorgeous animation. But in between the spouts of intense animation, there are a whole bunch of animation tricks I've noticed these shows use to try and get around doing any actual animation to save budget and time. These mainly being having the background move instead of the character to imply movement. When a character does an attack, the screen goes black and all that is shown is a slash mark to imply action when in fact they only have to draw two frames. Only animating the mouth and eyes because redrawing the face takes too much time because of the immense detail. Using the same mouth movement for an entire shot, sometimes not even bothering to sync the audio with what they're saying to save time. When someone gets attacked, it cuts to two or three different stills that pan to imply a wide variation of moves. When a character is surprised or thinking, a pan or zoom is used to emphasize the action without any animation. Oh, but the thing that gets to me most, and it's not really to do with the animation specifically, but it does fill time, is when there's a reaction shot of a character who does nothing but grunt or go, huh? <gasps> you know, that sort of thing. While I do still have huge respect for all the artists involved, and it can all pretty much be explained by time constraints and budget, I can completely understand why these tricks and techniques might put someone off certain aspects of anime. I should also note that anime is not the only style of animation that uses tricks like these, but I care so little about western children's animation that I mainly associate these techniques with anime anyway. Over the top theme songs. Now I know this might just be horribly cynical of me to suggest, but in a similar way to how popular movies shove in current pop stars, is it possible that a large portion of animes use their elaborate opening theme as a way to promote a popular J-pop band? This isn't to say that the songs themselves aren't good or catchy, but there is something about the style of music that comes across to me like this is the case. It's almost like the way every song with run or revolution in the lyrics are used in every single type of advert in the world ever. That's all I really wanted to say about the theme songs. Move along. Filler episodes. It is very frustrating when any TV show wastes your time, especially when it's so obviously filler garbage with no other purpose than to waste time in the gaps between when something is actually happening. The worst is when a huge event is about to happen, but then it turns into a flashback episode out of nowhere. I find flashbacks an extremely lazy plot device for the most part, unless it's recapping something from a couple of episodes ago that you might have forgotten. Especially if they're trying to depict something we've not actually seen before, so they're trying to make up an event without actually having to stick to what's already been established. I'm curious, so I asked this question to the anime fans. Which anime is the worst culprit for filler episodes, just so I know which ones to avoid in the future? Penultimate points. Puh. Puh. Before I wrap this up, let me just list off a few final things I may have missed or can't be bothered to drone on about for any longer. Fan service. Unnecessary excess, only there to please the fans. Setting 783% of anime in high school. Pretty original. Tentacles. Just... just no. Can 
Conclusion Anime is no question a pretty great genre of entertainment, obviously varying in quality depending on the crazy amount of variables I cannot be bothered to delve into. And while I still enjoy some anime, it still only takes up about 5% of my total media absorption. There are just so many barriers and noticeable tropes that hold back my complete enjoyment. I should probably also say that I do tend to enjoy movie based style anime as opposed to TV, because to me there's just a more condensed sense of quality especially the absolutely masterful series of Hayao Miyazaki movies, but I don't really think they count, or do they? I've no fucking idea. Look, I've had enough of this bollocks. I'm going back to normal. We didn't even look like anime anyway. Someone in the art department completely fucking failed miserably, didn't they? I mean, why is Superman a baby? I, I just, I just can't fucking do it. Come on, guys. Time to turn back to normal. Uh, oh, God. Oh, Jesus. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. My... Thingy opinion on thingy anime. So, what did you think? Did I miss anything out? Do you hate me for everything? Do you kind of like it? Let me know in the comments below. Are there any particular anime shows you would really super recommend that I might check out? Also, let me know. Just saying, let me know over and over again. So, as always, see if I can remember this off the top of my head. So, as always, Thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are appreciated. I'll see you next time. I managed to remember it without a script this time. Bye. That's rubbish. Ah. Uh, ah. <clears throat> uh,